What's up everybody, my name is Zito, also known as Eric, and this is my first video on how to make a mashup for Mashup Academy. Um, so in this video, I'm just going to kind of go over how I approach a mashup, uh, what's my mindset going into it. Um, the mashup that I'll be demoing will be a mashup that I used or I mean I made about a month ago or just over a month ago it's called Aerodyne Skies uh, it's a mashup of Walden's Aerodyne his original track and the acapella of Gold Skies from uh, Sander Van Dorn Martin Garrix everybody knows that song so um, real quickly what's a mashup? mashup is just taking two or more songs and making it into one. Um, there are a variety of ways to do this, but the most popular way by far is taking taking an acapella, <clears throat> if your song has an acapella, if one of the songs have vocals, you take that acapella and you put it over a beat of a different song. And uh, in this mashup I have here, that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go over this mashup and kind of give an overview of what I'm going to uh, explain later on in different videos. I'm going to use the same mashup in, the, in future videos to explain the different um, steps of making a mashup. So. So, um, how did I come up with the idea of making this one? Well, it's really just by listening to a lot of music, and Aerodyne kind of came up in my news feed on Facebook. I listened to it, I really liked it. But what was I looking for in that track? Um, let me show you. I was looking for a quiet, progressive breakdown in the middle of the track and I knew already this was a progressive house track which is perfect but not every progressive house track has a nice breakdown like this So yeah, this has a really, really nice breakdown, um, and it's really easy to put vocals over this because it's uh, it's progressive. It there is a chord progression here, like you can hear it kind of loops, right? Well, that's a chord progression. If you don't know what a chord progression is um, or chords, um, it's music theory stuff. You can look that up on Google or YouTube. Uh, or maybe I could explain it in later videos but my mindset going into this mashup was looking for this chord progression and yeah having this chord progression really made it easy to put an acapella on so how did I find the acapella well this one it was there was a kind of a wait what was it there was a remix contest on Bport and I just saw it and I was like whoa I really like those vocals I have to use them in some way and you know I just heard Aerodyne that same night and so I was like yeah I gotta put them together somehow and that's what I did so that's how I came up with the idea now let's kinda give an overview of this mashup so Basically, I don't touch any of the Aerodyne, that track, I don't touch anything until the break comes in. And that's where the vocals will come in, as you can see here, or here, let me just show you what it sounds like. Wait, one second. Alright, let's do that again. Alright, 
you get the idea. Sounds nice, right? Everything's in key, it's in time. Um, so this, if you haven't noticed yet, these vocals are actually pitched. So they're actually uh, lower than they're supposed to be. I lowered the pitch so so that it'll be in key with Aerodyne. Um, what else did I do in here? Well, here you see these little pieces that I kind of chopped out. Uh, this is to loop the chord progression because the vocals are actually longer than the br original break so I had to extend the chords to uh, fit the melody, or I mean fit the vocals so that worked out real nice um, and over here the male vocals come in as the uh, track changes as well let's have a listen Yeah, so some piano come in and more other sounds come in and that was really good. I kind of planned that. I wanted the male vocals to come in at that point. So that worked out perfectly. And then later on, uh, this track, Aerodyne, has a really long buildup. It's like a 16 bar buildup. Super long buildup. So I needed to loop the vocals right here, as you can see these little samples. I keep looping, but what am I looping? Well, let's have a listen. Alright, so I'm just looping the uh, the word sky the last half of the word sky so it's just uh, 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 all the way through the first half of the build up until we get to over here bar 133 oh and also volumes coming down we'll see I'll explain that in later videos but right here at bar 133 I add something more to it. Let's have a listen. So that is a vocal riser. So it enhances the uh, the mashup because it sounds like it's part of the original track um, that's a more advanced technique that I will be showing later on as well so that's the basic foundation of this mashup um, other than that rearranging stuff and adding all of this stuff into it there is some mixing and mastering uh, stuff that goes on behind the scenes um, so like the vocals mostly um, you know I EQ'd it you know I I made the mids and highs come out a little more I put a compressor on it to make it sound more even all of these things I'll be showing you how to do so this one's actually a really basic one in terms of mixing and mastering. The hardest part of this mashup would just be making the vocal riser and also rearranging rearranging things. So yeah, I'm gonna try to remake this for you guys in, in the future videos and show you step by step of how I did it. Alright, so see you guys in the next video.